like the National Assembly, the Senate, and other institutions the leverage to exercise their mandate as is provided for in our Constitution without necessarily impeding the rollout and the execution of government programs. Kenya's current revenue collection is significantly below the East African community target of 25% of GDP. Our aim is to raise revenue from our current 14% to 22% of GDP within the next decade and to promote compliance from the current 70% to 90% by 2026, 2027, expanding the tax base by addressing hard-to-tax sectors such as the informal economy and digital business will require collaboration, innovation, digitization, technology, and determination. Technology is critical to all modern transactions, as we all know. Automated systems, including electronic data interchange, and streamlined customs processes can significantly reduce costs, improve efficiency, and enhance transparency. There is, we all know, some measure of resistance on matters of technology and digitization. I must congratulate the KRA staff that they have finally come round and agreed that let's go technology. Congratulations. I am not saying you had refused. I'm saying it was slow. But I'm finally um, uh, informed, and now there is clarity, and there is harmony, and there is um, concurrence. And we have all agreed that that is the way we are going. And we are mobilizing both local and foreign technology providers. We have built a big consortium of technology providers to assist our Kenya Revenue Authority in making sure that we create a seamless ecosystem that will make sure that whatever is due to KRA is paid without anybody, any member of either KRA or any member of government taking advantage of the situation. Through effective use of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and the new GAVA Connect API, KRA will enhance service delivery, transparency, and also reduce tax evasion. I am proud to note that a tax-based expansion strategy enabled the government to generate an extra $24.6 in the year 2023-2024 and added 1.2 million new taxpayers to the national revenue base. In particular, the strategy has succeeded in bringing landlords into the tax net through the monthly rental income program and likewise enhanced systems including the electronic tax invoice management system have reduced VAT fraud, enabling us to mobilize $314 billion from over 280,000 VAT registered taxpayers. We are making real progress, and, I, and I'm very happy with the progress. I got a report from the KRA team uh, last week on the interventions we have put in place. We have just started, and I am very confident that shortly we will get all systems, will be all systems go, and um, we will make significant progress, and we will reduce the number of uh, uh, outings my friend has to go to queue in certain places. I commend millions of patriotic Kenyans for performing their patriotic duty and filing 8 million tax returns by June 30th, 2024, surpassing the target by 26%. Tax compliance is not only a legal 
and civic duty, but also signifies our shared commitment to contribute towards national transformation. I'm very happy that even though many people call me names in terms of our adventure and our program to collect tax, more people are now realizing that that is the direction to go. I'm very happy. I would also like to recognize Dr. Lillian Nyawanda. Where is she? Let's clap for that. Congratulations, Lillian, Commissioner for Domestic Taxes. Sorry, Commissioner for Customs and Border Control. For all the efforts that you're doing and your team. We recognize those efforts and we commend you. Let me also recognize Mrs. Rispa Modoni Simiu, Commissioner for Domestic Taxes. Where is she? There. And your team for your outstanding performance in surpassing your tax collection targets by 105%. Congratulations. <laughs> Madam Nyawanda surpassed her target by 102%. <laughs> Through better infrastructure, inclusive services, and increased wealth and job creation, we are laying the foundation for rapid national transformation. This is why we must all take a stand against tax evasion and corruption, which continues to pose significant challenges. Tax evaders should not be allowed to hide resources or to the people of Kenya while benefiting from public services. Similarly, those engaged in corruption should not enjoy benefits gained through the sabotage of public service delivery and the undermining of public infrastructure development through bloated bills and unnecessary and unjustified payments. I urge Kenyans to take advantage of KRA's iWeasel platform, which enables the public and staff to report malpractice, and I commend those who have done so already by reporting 883 cases which led to the recovery of 4.3 billion Kenya shillings. To all those who made reports, I want to say congratulations. You are true patriots of the Republic of Kenya. Additionally, 255 KRA staff members have been investigated. And I want to promise you that firm and decisive action will be taken against those who will be found to be culpable. It is critical for us to uphold integrity, to secure public confidence, motivate tax compliance, and promote efficiency and accountability. This is the way to ensure that every shilling of taxpayers' money is fully applied to its intended purpose. I reiterate my undertaking to remain a responsible steward of public resources and to ensure that no funds entrusted to the government will be lost under my watch. We have made significant progress in enhancing transparency and efficiency through digital solutions to combat theft, wastage, and corruption, and we remain committed to furthering this effort to ensure Kenyans, to assure Kenyans of maximum efficiency in resource utilization. Today, we launch KRA's ninth corporate plan, a five-year roadmap focused on improving efficiency, service delivery, and compliance through technology and process optimization. I commend KRA and the National Treasury for their work in developing this plan and urge them that nothing except the full implementation of this strategic plan shall be acceptable by me. Accordingly, I call upon 
government agencies to cooperate fully with KRA in strengthening revenue mobilization. Once again, I salute the distinguished taxpayers of Kenya and extend the appreciation of a grateful nation for your patriotic contribution to national self-reliance and transformation. I congratulate each of the outstanding taxpayers recognized today and say that your exemplary tax compliance is a model of committed nation building. As, you as we celebrate you, we honor the critical contribution of every taxpayer of our nation's self-reliance and to our collective efforts to build a prosperous and resilient future. It is important that we work together, and I'm very proud of this moment, that we are making steps towards ensuring that we collect every shilling that we can and appropriate it properly and use it for the intended purpose and make sure that it's good, it is put to good use. I'm informed that um, um, the discussions have already been done. From this month going forward, there will be adequate facilitation of the Kenya Revenue Authority so that they can do their job and do it well. The Kenya Revenue Authority, therefore, ninth corporate plan is now launched, and the Gava Connect API platform is also officially unveiled. Thank you very much. God bless you, and God bless our great country, Kenya. Asante Nisana. Another round of applause for His Excellency. As we now invite you, Your Excellency, to come and press the buzzer and allow